In this session, we're going to discuss how to update inventory information from a file. So from my enterprise setup, I'm going to pull up inventory materials. So earlier we had imported in some new product in the oil lube maintenance category, and it was BG product. So I'm going to go to manufacturer here, type in BG. We're going to do a quick search and pull up that list of BG product. Now I want to change some of this information, such as in a description, code, size. I can do any of these three. Now, if I go in here and change the manufacturer, then when I go to bring that back into the system, I'll have to match it up by part number only, or I can match it by part number and manufacturer. So step one to do this is you first must export out the list that you want to change. Okay. So I click on it, make sure it's what I want. Is if I want to update all of this, I certainly can. If I just want to update some of it, I can. So we're going to export out this entire list of BG product. Don't have to highlight it all. We just want it in the list here. So we're going to go to export to Excel for inventory information. So we're going to put it on our desktop. And I'm just going to give it a name. So we'll just call this the BG Info. And notice it'll even put it in the proper type of format that we need. Save. Now what I've done is I have created that file. Let's go open it up. So here I have my file of all this inventory that I exported out. So I don't want to change part number because if I change part number, I will not be able to bring that back in. What if I want to change something in a description? I can certainly do that. You know, maybe I'll just call it, you know, fuel system cleaner. Do something like that. What if I want to enter a code or a size? I can do that also. So if I want to code this, maybe I can just call it the C for a can or something like that, or a bottle. I can enter sizes if I want to. Okay. So you can enter and change whatever you like. Now, if you need to do the manufacturer, you certainly can. Once you've made your changes, you're just going to close it up and save it. You're going to go back to your inventory. Now you want to pull up the same list that you exported out. Same list that you export out. Doesn't matter what order it's in. As long as you got the same list. Now I'm going to highlight it all. See, I'm going to do a batch update. So I'm going to click on the first item. I'm going to scroll to the bottom here. Hold my shift key. Click again. So we're going to bring that exact same list. Batch update. Next. I'm going to update inventory material information from a file. Check my box. Go find my file. There's my file. Hit next. Now, do I want to match it by part number and manufacturer or part number only? Let's see, if I did change the manufacturer in that list, I could do that. But what we'll do is we will line it up by part number. I want to do the description because I did change the description. I'm going to do manufacture. You see there's my code, there's my size. All 
All right. So now, if I hit next and start, it'll go through and make the changes. Once it's done, it'll say completed. Hit close. Now again, to see the refresh, you got to hit search. See, so there's my code that I put in. There's my size I put in. There's where I change the description. So you can do quite a bit of stuff through the export to Excel and then bring it back in through the batch update.